A bit bleary-eyed from those storms last night, which leads us to Rob Sharp. Rob, good morning. Sydney and Central Coast drenched. Uh, there was that light show as well. It was loud. So where's the risk of heavy rain today? Uh, it's ed heading slightly further north. So Newcastle is the target zone for the next few hours and then maybe as far north as Port Macquarie late today. Uh, so there were even a couple of water spouts off the coast of Sydney late yesterday as the storm started to get going. But it was through the middle of the night that many areas saw their heaviest rainfall. Look at those totals flying upwards across much of the Sydney basin. The upper north shore, Terry Hills, heaviest rain in a decade there. And right now, Cessnock, uh, about 30 millimetres in the last hour alone and it just keeps on pouring with rain there and Newcastle is about to get a lot more over the next couple of hours as well, I'd suggest. Across uh, New South Wales and the ACT, there were a bunch of severe storms late yesterday, damaging winds, some giant hail, some flash flooding in a number of spots. Uh, and through today, though, the inland storms, they're easing back unlikely to be severe. It's just this coastal wet weather edging northwards that is the most significant today, uh, moving from Newcastle up to Port Macquarie. So for Sydney, maybe a shower or two still this morning, but by this afternoon, it's looking dry and cloudy. Uh, maybe a shower or two in Brisbane this morning and this evening. Showers picking up around Cairns, uh, stormy through the north. Darwin's had more than 60 millimetres and a lot more to come through today, but it is hot through the south and warming up nicely in Melbourne today. 30 okay. degrees. Yeah.